You're back. We're back with some Peter Gabriel for the first time on the channel today. And we're doing it because Rob made another request. Thanks for supporting yes. the channel, Rob. We do Thanks, appreciate Rob. the support. Thank and you. he was saying he thinks we're going to like Peter Gabriel. I'm excited. Yes. And uh, so Peter Gabriel is apparently uh, used to be in the, gen uh, the group Genesis, mm -hmm. which Phil Collins, I believe, was a part of as well. And um, I'm not sure you guys maybe can provide some more details on Genesis because we haven't done them before on the channel. Um, because I thought Phil Collins was a lead singer of that group, but I think Peter Gabriel was also a lead singer. Maybe so, they like shared lead yeah, vocals. Yeah, maybe they shared lead. So you guys can let us know about that. Yes. Um, and uh, so we've never heard Peter Gabriel before. We're jumping right into a live version. Um, I think this is because it's a pretty epic performance in terms of the live components. And from where we're looking over, there seems to be a fair amount of instrumentation in yeah. this performance. Um, so try to get, when we do the live versions, we try to get a little bit of a feel for the song before we jump into it. Yeah. You know, then we're not going in blind. And you guys are like, you can't believe, I can't believe you missed this. I can't believe you missed that. And we're like, we've never so, heard it. Yeah. So we try to get a little bit of backdrop and apparently this has got a little bit of an African vibe to it. Yeah. I'm kind of excited for that. Cause I feel like we haven't really done anything like that before. Yeah. With an influence of sorts. Yeah. But he's a UK based artist. So we're not from Africa. Um, clearly you guys probably already know that, but we want to see if you do know everything about Peter Gabriel. Yeah, we have a little trivia pop quiz question for you. Yeah. So the question that we have for you guys is why is Peter Gabriel such a legendary figure when it comes to MTV? MTV. Yep. So we'll give you the yeah, answer to that at the end of the video. You gotta, gotta stay tuned around. and we'll give you the answer as yes. to why he's a legendary figure in terms of MTV. And um, anything else you want to add, Samantha, before we get into this one? Did you want to show off your shirt at all? <laughs> A little bit of a bars and barbells there. We had this made for us as a gift, so yeah, I'm so, sporting it today. Yeah, so um, it's not for sale. Don't be looking for any merch or anything like that. This is just uh, Sam is highlighting a little bit of an yes. orange today in the themes of Halloween. October vibes. Yeah, so <laughs> we ready to get into it? I am. Let's do Let's it. Let's go. Rowdy already. We got some tribal music to start. It's giving me like Lion King vibes. I like this. Grazie a tutti. Thank you very much. We'd like to bring back our friends Taiye and Savara. Accepting all I've done and said, I want to stand and stare again till there's nothing.
Four and a half minutes already. This already is through cool. This one. I really like the backup vocal. Clearly, clearly you like this one. Yeah, I feel like it's just like a la la la. <laughs> it's um, it's really really cool. It's got a great vibe to it. Um, kind of feels a little spiritual, you know, mm-hmm. African tribal but spiritual mix in yeah. there. In your eyes, you know, and and um, very uh, pleasing to the ears with these transitions that they're going through, but keeping that same groove and rhythm all the mm-hmm. way through, which the, the drums are very unique. I don't, I, I don't know if I've heard them before. I'm sure I've heard them before, but I don't know what they are. They have like this percussion sound, you know, this drum feel, but it almost sounds like a water drop at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Which is that African like tribal sound. Yeah. I was going to say I, it also does sound more like a tribal drum. Sound yeah. Like but that. I don't know particularly what kind of drums they're using. Yeah. I know me either. They also have that cool little instrument that guy's using where it's like the long stick with like yeah. a tiny little, I don't know what that is. Yeah. I'm not, cool. not sure either, but we did say before we got into this, that there was going to be a unique blend of instrumentation yeah. that we, we were kind of looking and forward towards. So I think the backup vocals and the harmonies and stuff in there are really cool too. Oh yeah, for sure. Adding more of that you know, the composition in general just is totally a tribal feel. Mm-hmm. But I was going to say, I was going to pause it, but I thought, you know, let's just let it go. He sounds similar to Phil Collins. He does kind of. His similar. vocal. At first I was kind of like, this sounds familiar. Yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting, um, you know, that they're both in the same group and they have a very sa- similar vocal. Like sound, yeah, for sure. Right. But uh, I'm loving this performance so far. It's it's awesome. The uh, the audience is involved. Yeah. Like I said, it's it gets. all in the background like, yeah. And it has this like peace vibe to it. Mm-hmm. It does. You yeah, know, like it's it. like no war, no, just love, peace, all that. Yeah. The only thing I will say is that I find that because it's live and it happens, right? Is that I feel like I can't make out all of the lyrics mm-hmm. in his vocal because it's not like super, super clear. Yeah. But you can get the gist of it that he's talking about like... You know, he's saying like in your life, sounds like he's talking about love to yeah. some degree. And that's and just the feel of the song as well, right? Like yeah. the way everything's put together, that's the feeling I get yeah. from it. So that's yeah. obviously the lyrics are going to yeah. play to that. Love and the overall vibe of yeah, it though. Yeah, me too. And our friend, Taya. idea what that is. going to add is what we didn't mention i forgot i was going to say it was that guy's vocal so so much bass mm-hmm. <laughs> you know mm-hmm. when, when they added gave the little... him the mic and he yeah, was yeah, doing yeah. that little when he said the four you're in, there. in yeah. your eyes part yeah. so deep man it was yeah. wild Thousand churches, the resolution 
composition that was so cool like very different i feel like than anything else that we've done it was like an african symphony yeah it was really cool and you know they even added some of those elements like with their dance in there nothing like crazy orchestrated dance moves Mm -hmm. choreographed dance dance moves i should say but you know it had that whole that feel all the way through so much instrumentation like i saw the multiple areas of you know they had keyboards here and keyboards here and you know at the end, they they had you saw that they had multiple layers of keys. Mm-hmm. You had multiple guitar players. You yeah, had multiple different drums. Yeah, multiple backup vocalists. Yeah. So lots of depth. So much depth in that, yeah. and it was so well put together. Such an awesome performance. The yeah. audience was so engaged. They were yeah, loving such, it. Like, such high energy. 
Yeah, and you know, clearly he did make mention of you know some of the religious aspects like the church and stuff like that as well. Um, you know, in your eyes, how you're seeing things. Yeah. Um, so it was such a great performance. Peter Gabriel yeah, I really, love that. really came through on this one. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, and uh, did you have a favorite part throughout? Did you enjoy anything in particular, like the backup vocals, the you know any components of you know the middle portion, back end? Did you enjoy more? Yeah, I think I really liked the backup vocals. I thought that was really cool, especially with like the female backup vocal. And then they brought in, like you said, the deeper kind of bassy voice sometimes too. Mm-hmm. I also really liked when that guy did his, I don't, I don't know what the instrument was, but his solo with that instrument because it's like kind of like how you would have a guitar solo, but it's yeah. not a guitar. So that was kind of interesting to hear a different sound in a solo like that. Yeah, and I don't know what that was, but you guys no, can let us know. It's cool. We can now I let you... I want to know what it is. Yeah, we can now let you know about that trivia question that we popped to you in the beginning of the video. And uh, the question was, why is Peter Gabriel known as a legendary figure when it comes to MTV? Yes. And the it's answer. because... <laughs> would you like to give him the answer? No, Do you I was, gonna, I was putting okay. you on the spot to give the answer. Right. The answer is his video for Sledgehammer is the most viewed video on MTV of all time. All time. So it's the most popular video in MTV history, Sledgehammer. So uh, I think it won like eight MTV uh, video awards. And wow. um, like I said, it's been really renowned. So I have not seen it. Yeah, we didn't even know who Peter, Peter Gabriel was before yeah. we got into this one. And um, he's, you know, one of the most popular figures in MTV history. So uh, learn something new. We did. Hopefully yeah. you guys may have as well. Hopefully you enjoyed our reaction. If you did, you know what to do already. Hit that like button. Thank you so much as well, Rob, for that recommendation. Yeah, it was awesome. It was very unique. Great, great artistry for for sure. Really impressive. So I appreciated that quite a bit. Yeah, me too. All right, that's it. All you got to do from now is hit the subscription button, notification bell, and see us in our next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.